Alright, let's, let's go to bed now, Kim. I should take a... Take a shower. Not in real life, but in the game. To, like, wash the death out of me. Uh, I have a pimple, like, right here around my neck. That's why I'm, like, scratching up my neck a lot right now. Um... Oh, there's a game deck update. If you guys didn't know, I backed Game Deck, which is a cyberpunk game. Oh, down here. Cyberpunk isometric game, which looks pretty cool. It's an RPG as well. You, an open world as well. So you basically play as a detective going between worlds to solve mysteries between like actual virtual worlds in real life too. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. And then apparently there's an update for the backers. Um, I have to read it, what it says. Uh, later. I also did um, Sea of Thieves. Not Sea of Thieves. I keep saying Sea of Thieves, but it's Sea of Stars. Uh, I backed that as well. See you in the morning. Close the door. Bye. Let me wash my face. I did not like wash my face. Um, uh, what? Interference. Um, use the chain cutters. Uh, no, it's you. Yeah, Sea of Stars. This is the one I was using. Then another game that I backed, which is like a Chrono Trigger inspired game. Won't come out for two years, but I could wait. They made they're the same guys that made the messenger you guys play. I will play that game eventually when I have time. Once I'm done with either Disco Elysium, Final Fantasy Seven. One of those two, because I'm getting Final Fantasy Seven the game still has to come out. Today is the the launch date. But it being April tenth. Tenth. But I don't have any I don't have the game. It's not coming until Tuesday, so I can't play that yet. Doom is finished. Need to like do some multiplayer thing in order to finish that. Uh, let's do this. Uh, uh, the faucet is quite terribly managed, but you may not be able to twist its parts into place. You handle the chain cutters deftly, applying just enough pressure. The faucet regains a recognizable shape. The steam stop. Told you that you needed those chain cutters. Everything is connected. Everything has a purpose. Cool. No more steam. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Sure. Ow. Alright. I washed... Oh, there we go. Can I take a shower now? It's not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. Ah, the soap scum's smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. No, fucking take a bath. Undress, close your eyes, and submerge. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like ominative fluid. A few beer cans and bobbing up and down along your flanks like sad duggies. You feel nice and lovely, and so on, and so tired. Take the beer cans out. Now you are alone with your thoughts in the tub, but it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. They're not really thoughts, just a sort of sensation, none of them acute enough to focus on. Imagine something. You see the corpse, you can smell you can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then houses along a narrow street are video rental. Darkness of the planet curvature. The tub of it. Uh the finger grows pales and I cover it in with tiny whorls as the water cools. Cool. You're cold now and your clothes stick to your still moist body, moist body. Most moist skin. Alright, took the bath. Let's get out of here. Okay, first things first. Late night excursion number two. First things first. Let's put this, let's put this chain cutter away. We are gonna go steal that man's um shoes so we can sell them and have a place to live for tomorrow. So we're gonna do that real quick. All this is done. We, we accomplished a lot on Tuesday. 
we got a lot of progress done. A lot, a lot of progress. So much has been accomplished today. It has been great. Uh, where am I going? The body isn't over here. The body is over here. It's over there. Let me grab some water because I am a thirsty boy. Delicious, delicious water. Alright, let's go check out the body. Take his fucking legs. I mean his boots. <clears throat> uh, try to remove the dead man's boots. The bodies were likely to let go of the bit, as though they were its last bits of dignity. Whatever you're planning to do, you need to do it before you catch a pneumonia in the cold daft coming from deep inside the fridge. Pull on the left boot. It feels like the leg is going to come off with the boot, but you were able to get the boot to move a centimeter or two. Go on the left boot. Go on the right boot. It's not completely useless. You're about you're able to reveal a little more of the putrid preliminary sock beneath the boot. Just relax, this is easy. This is happening. See, the corpse doesn't care if you try to take his boots. He doesn't need them. He's probably glad to get rid of them. Adjust his seating position first. He's too heavy to move by yourself. A great mass of dead muscles with horror frost covering his milky eyes. Try to twist the boots off one by one. Cool. Um, this is the right method. It takes some time, but eventually the boots come off. With nasty slides of pollinary sock stuck to even bigger pieces of skin. Oh, took the stick stock of the damage. Not good. Let's pin this on the bear. The ice bear tore up his leg with his claws. <laughs> and... <laughs> As for the booze, you can't possibly do anything with them until you clean them and disinfect them thoroughly. Yeah, these absolutely need to be washed before. I just think it's incredible. Didn't the world have a kitchen? Does it have a kitchen? Oh. At the autopsy, you said you have ancient mysteries. Um. Oh, yes, Kobe Milobi Lobo. In the go gift horse mouth, tracks and wakes on waterways. Yeah, but where to, brother? Just a small gulp away, my beloved Kobo. A small gulp away. How do you like it in the fridge? I like it a lot, brother. This is really your finest work. Uh, hour. You're a genius. A regular couple lingo. Fair enough. Alright, I got the boots. Except it's stinky now. Don't smell these boots. The better you know, yeah, don't even think about them. For now, they're unsellable and unwashable. These boots were probably left in the course before they were impossible to hang. They're not presently to look at right now. Much less smell. Hopefully, you will know who they belong to very soon. Isn't there a saying about walking in another man's shoes? You seem too much to be that many, but even if you don't remember it, you never know what it was like to be him. Where be able to wear them? The science seems about right once you get the foul cement and gunk out of the way. Um, I click like literally everything by ne what I needed to. Let's get out of here. Um. We go to the kitchen, I guess. I don't think it's open though, right? There's nothing else I can do out here. What I can do is go to the kitchen. This is the astrology guy, but he's still fucking crazy. Um, this? Industrial stove gas power has been used to prepare food for many hungry hostile guests. There are several pots and pans on hand. Getting the coarse residue out of the booth is going to require patience. Also, a huge pot of boiling water, soap, and white vinegar. Check out the cleaning supplies. A variety of slopes, soaps, and bleaches in the cabinet to the left. There's also a bottle of white vinegar in the cabinet next to the fridge. Cool. It's bad with those booze. Don't be stingy now. Um. Pour some dish in the bottle of white vinegar into the pot. Yeah, might as well do them both. The delicious smells of s cheap soap and vinegar waft up from the pot. All right, now, Chief, light up, light the stove up, and boil them. Uh, check out the cookware. 
Commercial pot, very large, uh, enough to boil a protrude pair of death boots. Add wire and the boots to the pot. Bring it all to a nice boil. A strong smell of vinegar forces you to step away from the pot. The water slowly comes to a boil. Wait. Strips of pollinary fabric and human tissue separates from the lining of the boots. They float to the bubbling surface. Wait some more. The boots look cleaner and cleaner. Those bits of human flesh are beginning to look cooked. You can smell it too. Oh god. Just like a beach to ill. A little more. That's it, chief. The boots are as clean as they're gonna get. Steam dense with a strange sm smell of strange meat. Disappears into the vent above the stove. Dump the sock and flesh stew and examine your new boots. Cool. Alright. Got boots down. Can I wear them? I can. Plus two authority. What do they look like? Oh, look at that. Um. F fucking what? Uh oh. Some bad new bears are happening in the world outside. Alright, put that on. I'm gonna go sell those boots. Honestly, I need the money for tomorrow. And I don't really need them. They give me authority, which is not like the road I'm going through right now. I'm going with facts and logic. Kind of kind of police officer, a police detective. That I am. You son of a bitches. So I'm going to sell these real quick. What's that? Fucking run over it. Uh, scribble between the thighs of a page three girl. Oh, it's porn. Right, let's go inside here and maybe I can sell it and then go back to talk to college. I think I don't know how to pronounce it. I want to say it's, pro it's not pronounced hello, Khaleesi. Hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yeah, hold up. I had to scratch my armpit. That's something else to sell. I have some armor. All right, let's see it. I got these sabatons. Show them. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need bloodthirsty mercenary knocking on my door looking for their missing toys. Besides, this gear costs a fortune. There's no one in Maritanese with that kind of money. Shit. It feels like he would have accepted the risk if he had hoped to profit from it. It's not greed, though. Deep down, he's a gambler, provided the stakes are sufficient enough. Fuck me. Well, I don't have shit, then. You worth worthless for me. Um... I don't know. What is, what is missing here? Conceptualization. I could do that. Even though that's challenging. Interfacing. My dog is barking as well. Pretty Lyle. I think there's someone like outside. Or someone just came through the door. I think my dad just went through the door. Um, Volition. Empathy. I don't know. Call my perception. I feel like these need some help, but even then, they're pretty fucking high. Uh, succession. Play the puppet master. Empathy, Inland Empire, Rhetoric, Logic, Reaction Speed. Uh, let's put one more in Perception. Okay. See ya. Because I can't sell them to you. I don't know who I can sell them. Uh, maybe I could sell it to the guy who's across the street, but I think he's asleep now. I know it says by two everyone's asleep, but he might just been... Packed up early. But there are some people who pack it up early. Yep. Packed it up early. Okay. I don't know who to sell it to. I don't want to sell it to Kuno. What the hell Kuno's going to do with it? Alright, let's go talk to Khaleesi over here. I'm going to call her Khaleesi just because I can't pronounce the other name.
Um, is there anyone to talk to here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Lena went away. Saw that too. Uh, so I got the boots. The boots. The boots. Uh, confront Kale. Oh yeah, I can do both. I can do both. Um. Okay. Loves you. Be a nice guest. Go through here. There's something to look at that right outside. Low moral. Put points into volition. I think I need to put more points into. Actually, I'm good on both. Just can I do like visual? No, I can't. I could do like a visual calculus thing. But then yeah, I think I need like the original window pane. In order to like do an actual visual calculus. She's not here. She only here for like an hour. Oh. Push. Well then. She, where, where is she? She downstairs. Wait, 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 yeah, where is she? She said I could ask about. When Kim's not around. Ask Khaleesi about what she heard from the room. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I think I messed up on what she actually mean. But, but where is she though? The question still stands. She's not here. So she has to be out. And about. Out and about. Out and about. Go, go in there. What's the music stop? See the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. Cool. Close you. What, what, is, what do you got from the times of points? Uh, 19 out of 100. Close it. Oh, no. Don't go in there. Close it. There you go. Be nice. Alright, open you up. Here. Close you up. Um. And what can I do? There's like nothing else to do. I think the only thing I can ask about the victim back tattoos. And that's like the astronomy guy. Comes in late. Uh, who makes the, the communist symbols over here. Wait, can I pick up the bottles here? Can I actually do that? Um, there you are. Nope. Oh wait, there's money over here though. Match that. All right, never mind. Be gone from this place. Um. Yeah, I could try and ask the astronomy, astronomy guy. And then I could ask the these guys here about the bullet. There is something down there. The musty smell of a potato cellar in spring emanates from this air vent. What? Yeah, maybe they know something. About the bullet, maybe it's like from an old rifle. So only someone who has access to the building knows what happened. Cause we might have found the, the the bullet. We might have found the gun, and we might have found who did it. Might have been like the novelty dice maker. Okay, that's her home. Uh, this is the real estate home. It's this one. Every time they go the dun 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 dun, it reminds me so much of um. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here. It reminds me so much of like um, um, Death Stranding. I don't know why. I can do it. The shackle snaps like a twig, and the lock falls to the floor with a little thud. It should be possible to enter now. Okay. Walk in here. Uh, small bedroom. Small studio. It's a real small studio. It's like the size of my room. 
No, it's even less than my room. I'm assuming this is a full. I got a huge ass desk too. I got a bookcase. I got a bunch of stuff. I have two desks actually, technically. Mm, it's about. Oh, I think mine's a little bigger. Uh, photos of revolutionary posing with guns. Books of critical th theory on the monstrosity of capital and such. Revolutionary love to pose with their guns. What's this? A, a pistol? A bullet? And then we got a jacket. Conceptualization. Yeah. We, we might need that. And then we got this. We got a bust across Mazov. A plastic cast bust depicts a middle-aged man with impressive sideburns. The name on the Linneth reads Cross Mgoss. Who is he? Situated between a poster of a white star and a photo of a revolutionary posing with their gun. This can't be a coincidence. There can only be one explanation. He is a commutard. Communard. Yes! Cross Mgoss. Nom de Gruye. Gruye. Was a economical economist and theoretical uh, historian. He was a leading figure on the grass side of the turn of the century revolution, where he headed the nine day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism. Mazivian thought or Marzivism. Uh, I don't know if he was a mass murderer or not, because I had no absolutely nothing. Um, whoever lives here needs to learn how the econo economy actually works. They're at the bust. The bust doesn't reply, and the hallway behind the door is empty. No one hears your words. He's a murderer. Lives in this room. Hero of the working class. No, they weren't feeling feels. <laughs> Because they all say the same thing. A poor crumb nerd from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than the closet. And the room feeling fills you as you look into Mazov marble eyes. Hallway looks empty. No one else hears you. Okay. Alright. Oh, she thought it was like an astrology guy, but because of the star. I'm stupid. I, f I just realized I'm so stupid. It takes me a second to figure it out. Nope, not there. Take me a second to figure it out. Um, I guess all we could do now is like go to sleep. Go to sleep. Package the body up. And then. Don't I have some clothes? I have this one. Of this one. Gotta move on. Boom, 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 boom. I got plus two. So locked. Um. Okay. I have a seven. Uh. Let's put this on. Is it the clean shirt? White stain shirt. This is a stain shirt. There we go. Uh, okay. Let's get on out of here. Let's get on out of here and try to go to bed actually. And then tomorrow we could talk to a bunch of people. It came out of the way. So we could talk to Khaleesi over here. I know Khaleesi isn't her name, but that's what I'm gonna call her. Ah, oh, Khaleesi. Do -do 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 -do. I'm like looking at mail now. Just trying to see if there's anything. Worth looking at for now. This is like it. What's on HBO Go? There's nothing. See, if there's anything of importance that I need to like reply to. Uh, just updates and then 
some other nonsense in the world of the coronavirus world. Go in here, close that. Go to bed. And dream some nightmares. And just dream some night dream some nightmares, go to sleep. Okay, the bed is so cold for the window blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Here we go again, my. Here we are again, my broken bot. Waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay. Always. Half aware of yourself. Fuck you. You're not cooperating, brother man. It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety but you cannot because of the pain the pain in your right side is your enlarged liver by the way as you for your kidneys you have really been compounding the damage lately every cell in your body is moaning in agony asking I'm trying to see like what, what the check was what did you ever did to you? What did we ever did to you? Uh, no one does anything nice to it. No, I'm sorry, so it's me. My fault. Now, you're finally thinking about something other than yourself. Let's see how far that'll get you. These are just my desserts. I will endure this pain with dignity. Wait. Wasn't this the express to fuck Alberg? I'm an artist and liver damage is my art. I think I need medical attention. Yeah, I think I need medical attention if this all of this is true. Oh yes. That'll check you out. Give you some pills. Make it all okay. The wonder maker. I'm assuming the reptilian brain is what Harry hears himself, at least. Don't be stupid, Harry. It's not happening. They don't make new kidneys and livers and They hospitals. do, actually. All you've got to do is pray to God it passes. While you stare at the flickering darkness. I th I th they do. They have them on, like, rats now. They, like, build them on the rats. Like that South Park episode where you see with the dick. They, they've been doing that for a while now. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's fully in like widespread usage. I think they're still just testing it as well. Um, you're just stuck here in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? Um, just get me out of here then. Back to the other place. I will. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. Human beings will always betray you. Yeah. I'm looking at people. I like that. I like people. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? Not all of them, but, you know, a few. At least they're interesting. Yeah, they're all interesting. I like this one. I like about people. I like playing like different variety of games. You like you ever noticed on my channel? I, I'm playing Disco Elysium. I'm playing Final Fantasy and Doom. Doom Eternal, and I'm going back to Doom Eternal to 100% it. And I'm playing horror games. Like it's all all over the place. It's just because I love experiencing new things and new how people minds work and how they. How they want to express it in their game. It's real interesting. It's pretty cool, actually. Games are cool. Even like, I have fighting games here too. Shooters. I have Persona 5. I got Catherine back there too. That's Stranding. I love all of that. People are beautiful. Ah, 
parodies and tragedies on themselves. A great democracy of creatures. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Not really. Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts. You're just pretending that you're asleep. Even to yourself. While the world goes on without you. That's fine. Let it. Let it. That's fine. The world just continue going on. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather <laughs> your bearings. Rock and... Oh, damn it. I thought I would time it right, too. It says rock and roll. I don't know why I lied to you guys just now. I just pressed it by accident. I pressed it too early. 